Okay, guys, so... Something really strange has just happened. Uh, when you turn the game back on, on the PlayStation 3, when it's a PlayStation 1 classic thing, it asks you to change the disc again. So, there doesn't seem to be any kind of memory or remembrance of the disc you were on. Which is bizarre. But, you know, I guess it's understandable. So, we're going to the Galbadian Missile Base, which is over here. You have to come here in this car, because if you don't, it doesn't trigger this. Alright, go ahead. So it was easy to sneak in. We really didn't have to do much. That guard should probably be fired. But he could have a mortgage, he could have a family. You know, who gives us the right to cancel his his employment? So following the launch and Trabia Garden, prepare for blah blah blah. The uniform is itchy and smelly. But the cool thing about this part is if you play it right, uh, you can avoid pretty much most of the combat, which is quite cool. You can also gain some seed ranks for doing it, which is also quite cool, because it's incentivizing, you know, playing a game like this, which is, you know, for the most it's quite, you know, literal in its translation. You do combat, you do exploration, you talk and stuff, you shop. There's not really much wiggle room aside from a couple of minigames. Well, this is more of a stealth approach and kind of like a, a bluff your way through. Uh, environment, which which is quite cool, but uh, we need to swap some junction in here. Uh, my reasons for doing this, uh, just so we can draw more than anything. Uh, I think it's Renoa who's got us. How does the selfie have it? We'll we'll have a look. Uh, selfie's got all the magic, which is a good thing. She does not have a GF though. That does that mean they've not been junctioned? No, that means that Renault probably got that shit. So, swap her with her. And I'm hoping uh, it's not Quistis. Yay, there we go. Good stuff. So now we're all pretty much ready to, to get on with the game. So let's do this. So we're going to... Come over to here, I believe. And then I'm going to cruise. This is a song that really reminds me of Final Fantasy VII. It's like full-on funky, swaggy, Final Fantasy VII-esque music. Which is a great thing, because Final Fantasy VII is a great game. A lot of people have asked me why I picked 8 to, to do a playthrough of out of all of them. Um... There was no real preference, guys. It just... It jumped out at me. I wanted to play some cards. You know, and the, the card game on 9 is good. It's just... Kind of slow. Like, it takes you a while to get good cards. Because playing without good cards is just so pointless on that game. Because it's... It's really weird. And... It's almost like you have to level your cards up to get them better. And... It's been a long time since I played that... That card game in itself so my memory of it is kind of weak but on I do have a file where I have every single card because you know it's the type of stuff I used to do when I was a kid okay locked door we're not pressing our buttons gonna just go through here oh ah, there you go getting tricked by the old pre-rendered backgrounds so this is our first opportunity to to walk past an encounter. So I picked to walk quietly, and we're going to walk in single file. And it's funny because the game <laughs> tries to catch you out. It's like, hang on a second there. Hey you, stop there. And it's like, shit, we look suspicious. Walking in a single file. Your parents must have raised you well. That's very good manners. Always be thankful for your parents for bringing you up. And then you're like, oh, so we're not in trouble. Now we can continue sneaking into the missile base. Oh, nearly threw my damn PS3 pad. <laughs> Flimsy pad. 
I dropped a disc the, earlier today. It's the first time I've dropped a disc in ages. <laughs> Just that blood curdling moment as you watch it hit the floor. It's so sad. Right, so one of these guys is doing an inspection. I think it's this fella. I'm doing an inspection. Come back later. And uh, this part of the game is as close to an adventure game as it's going to get because you, you're, you're just looking around to talk to the right guy who's going to trigger the right moment. And it's a very tricky screen, that one, because it doesn't seem apparent that this is a here. And there's two two dudes over here who are really important because they're the people who push the plot forward. But they're also the people that allow us to get into the room where the mandatory fights take place. So, I'm busy now. What do you want? Oh yeah, are we supposed to inspect the circuit room soon? Oh, is that time already? We're doing the real thing today, so there's no way we have time for it. Sorry to trouble you, but could you guys deliver a message for us? So, we have to tell the people in that room we were just in that these guys can't be asked essentially, or are too busy to do their job. <laughs> and that's exactly what we're going to do. It's got such a Shaft-esque riff. I love it. Excuse me, sir, I have a message for you. Well, what is it? To go on ahead. It's about inspecting the circuit room. The maintenance team said they were too busy so that you should just go on ahead. Did you tell them I can't just go on yet? Yes, I can. I'm the resident Galbadian Good Samaritan. But the playthrough so far has been receiving, you know, a lot of positivity, which is great to see. People are wanting me to keep the cards, which is cool, because I, I have been so far, so the people should enjoy that. But I have had a copyright flag. I've been uploading the videos quite frequently, and the tenth video got a flag. So chances are, once I finish disputing it, if it doesn't go my way, the video will be blocked in Germany and some other countries that, you know, are allergic to fun or YouTube just has problems with. So I apologise in advance to my, my bros in, in Germany who like to watch the videos, but there's nothing I can do, guys. It's either that or pull it down, and you know, I can't really do that. And the thing that sucks the most is I can't monetize those videos, which means I don't make anything on them. And I'm not, you know, this massive tyrant that only does something for money, but, you know, at this moment in time, every penny really does help. <laughs> so, it's just a little bit frustrating as a creator that, you know, I can't, I can't get paid back for my work. For my hard work, too. Because people think, oh, just playing games, putting them on the internet is really easy to do. And, you know, compared to shoveling coal for, for 10 hours a day, it is. Because it's more mental than it is physical, but... It's still a, a heavy time sink in both recording and editing. And the editing's where the real work happens. Missile launches are through this door, huh? I need to come up here first, though. Speak to this guy. So it just kind of sucks that, you, that YouTube has these automatic restrictions, which essentially are just doing nothing but cramping people's creativity. Because I have almost 20 parts of this Let's Play up already. And only one of them has a problem, and that one is no different to any of the other ones. And all the other ones are fine to have monetization run on them, so why is this one so different? And why can't I dispute it on a system that immediately acknowledges that YouTube's been too anal and just automatically corrects it? Why do I have to wait for a human being to assess it when it takes... it could take up to a week. And I... I'm a busy guy, and I don't want to take up to a week. I want it done now. And I appreciate I'm a tiny channel in a sea of much greater channels, but... You know, everything's relative and it's it's important to me and it's important to my subscribers. So it just it, it frustrates me is all. So on this sequence, I don't know if there's any specific pattern to what you should press. But I think banging on it works wonders. Or maybe not. Maybe that's just all you needed to do. Just two presses and you're done. Maintenance team, investigate immediately. 
We should get the hell out of here. Like now. <laughs> I love how tiny Selfie is. <laughs> oh, that is not a door. That is not a door either. Sneaky. Whoa, where's the fucking door, man? It has to be somewhere. There we go. Bloody doors. Who are they, really? Hey, you. What's going on here? So I'm going to try to talk my way out. I'm just about to go call you. Let's take care of it. So if you do this, you avoid combat. And that way, we're avoiding unnecessary experience. Because the game automatically deals with the soldiers. We knock them out. And we still get to keep our disguise. And there's another one coming up where... You're going to talk to some people, and if you don't help them, they'll fight you. So, we're going to have to help them. But it's not a problem, because it means we avoid a little bit more experience. And we get to see a little bit more of the game. But I was at a wedding the other day. And they had twisty tops on the bottles of lager. There were Fosters, and there were Miller, and all sorts of stuff. But the twisty tops still had the serrated pattern. So I've cut my hands to shit twisting the tops off. Which is hilarious because, you know, when, when you're going to be using physical strength on your hand to twist something, the, the one thing that you want there is a, is a line of razors to meet your flesh. What a fantastic design that is. <laughs> so at this moment in time, I keep catching little, like, razor cuts on my hands, on my pad. You know, gaming illnesses is... Or injury, should I say. It's not an illness, per se. And I just talked to another save. So I'm going to have to keep it in. I need to... I need to have a discipline. Now, this is the guy we need to convince. Hey, haven't you seen you around here before? Let's just play it cool. Play it cool. Well, we need some help in here. I guess it doesn't really matter who. You think you can lend a hand? Sure we can. The Galbadian Samaritans. So there's a console there on the right where you can you can actually alter the accuracy of the missile that gets fired. And I don't know if you're supposed to do it, but I always do. Out of habit. I'm not too sure if it's mandatory or not. Yeah, that's the one. Alright. One in between the two guys and two on either side. Come on, guys, move your ass. So, go into the middle of these guys, everybody else will position. And we can tap square. Which, not the best mechanic I've ever come across, but why not? Especially when my square sticks. So it's not the best pad to do this. I mean, look at it. It's not like I'm tapping slow either. Get a little bit of spaz hand on it. It just ain't moving. Blaming this button. Working on the old carpal tunnel slash vibration white finger. Maybe get the government to give me a bit of a discount. He had an arduous life of playing video games and pleasuring himself. And thus we should give him lots of money. Because everybody knows every game is a virgin who jacks off too much. Obviously true. Right then. So now that we've helped him, we can get the hell out of Dodge. Good work. All we need now is to confirm the coordinates on the control panel. The program should be ready to go. Thanks, guys. Go team. So, I'm going to go on this beast. Yeah, we're not busting it up. We're not accidentally launching uh, ICBM. Because we absolutely know nothing about corporations that make computers. So here you go. This is the future of computing right here. Look at it. Welcome to HTMS. It's very slow, this computer. Jesus. What is it? A Packard Bell? Packard Bell, Pentium 1. So, you want to go to target, I believe. You want to go to set error ratio. 
And this is the one we increase, which takes forever to do. And makes an obscure noise every time we press it. I'm holding the analogue to the right and the D-pad, and this is as fast as it's going. <laughs> It's not in a rush, you know. Missiles flying through the air and all that. And then you have to upload it or it doesn't count. And this has got similar looking bandwidth to me, this, because it takes ages too. Actually, that's miles better than mine. <laughs> that's at least a meg. So I got an email back from a friend of Sofrex, if you're familiar with the him, he's a loyal subscriber of mine, he actually is the person in front of, in charge and on the front lines of my Facebook page. Because I'm not much of a Facebook guy, I don't really do it. Uh, he is essentially me on Facebook, so whenever you're asking questions there, you are going directly to him, he then gets directly to me. and. If anybody's seen his hard work that he's put in, they should really, you know, drop him some kind words, because I don't do Facebook, and it's awfully nice of him to do it for me, because it's good for networking. But people, a lot of people are asking questions on Facebook, and it's much better to do it through YouTube, because that's where you will be guaranteed to get to me, and it'll just alleviate some of the traffic. But as I was saying, a friend of his... Um, who we put me in contact with to make some original music for my channel has, has made me a beat and I haven't actually listened to it yet because I had to go to a wedding yesterday but um, once I've done this recording session I'm going to check out and I'm going to see uh, what the music's like and hopefully it can be put forth to something I've been wanting to do for a while and it's uh, you'll hopefully be seeing it quite soon Roger Roger Who's Roger? Designated positions. We come into the room, we do the wrong salute, and we end. Oh, wow. Is my analog gone again? Um... What does digital mode even do, man? Deactivates my analog for no reason. I think my pad is just. I don't know, having a bad day. It was working fine before I unplugged the thing. And then when I unplugged it, it went into spaz mode. I thought you looked suspicious. You're the intruders. No use hiding it now. I mean, that salute was just flat shit. And this is a mandatory fight. So hopefully, we can land a few breaks on them and mitigate the experience we get. So a buddy of mine and a subscriber called Big Benedict asked me, how exactly do you beat these games without getting experience? because he remembers taking on Ultimecia, who's the final boss, and uh, she gave him a pretty tough time. And she does give you a pretty tough time, because she's got very powerful spells. Uh, but the game's difficulty scales on your level. And on this game, because you can junction magic at any level, you can essentially make your team extremely strong at level 1, or level 7 as it is on this game. And knowledge conquers all, so if you have the knowledge to do it, you can... You know, you can destroy some folk. Oh, I don't have a lot of breaks. What if Squall's got the last of them? Oh, that's not what we want to see. One confuse and then a failed draw. That is brutal. Let's try that one. I just... Oh, it makes me so sad that I don't have the magic I should have at this point. <laughs> Do we get him? No. And we've used all his breaks, so we have to take this experience. So it's going to Irvine. I'm gonna get Selfie and Zell to kill each other. Irvine can take this. Take one for the team. Oh, 
never strike a lady, but I'll make an exception in this incident because we need her dead. <laughs> she missed herself. And I'm sorry, but if anybody's ever tried to play around with nunchucks completely untrained, you will hit yourself more than you'll hit anything. That shit is hard to use, man. Nunchucks are difficult. This is so... Just... Come on, guys. Just kill her. She's not that tough. Dropping 62 damage on that slash. I'm impressed, boys. 45. You're not going to kill Zell that way. This guy's going to kill you, though. Come on, die, dude. Just die. How did that feel? Pretty good? It's just you and me now, bro. Just you and me. And you're gonna get the fire ammo. Bloody hell. It's got some power on it. That should be enough to kill you. No need wasting ammo on him. Right, how much do we get? Because sometimes sharing experience is better when you've got a full team. Other times it's not. It all depends on. So, that's not too bad at all. I can I can gladly take that. Zell can take some too. He's got a full 700. But we took one for the team. Right, let's stop this missile guy, damn it. Hey, stop cursing. So... Before we do this, we need to do some junctioning, because we need to bring these folk back. Oh, bollocks. Have I got any lives? Can't use magic on dead folk. Oh, thank goodness. No, 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 exchange. I want to use... I'll give him some potions to bump his life back up. So he doesn't get too high. Yeah, that should be fine. Because we do have a boss coming up. It's not a hard boss, and I want to obliterate it as quickly as I can. I don't think it's this one. How about this one? This one? Ah, oh, Zell's found it. Oh yeah! We're all set, baby! All we need now is a self-destruct mechanism. It's in the next room. So over here. So once we do this, we can get the hell out of dodge. When I figure out what I'm supposed to be pressing. Is it the big glowing bit? This is the self-destruct mechanism for the base. Do it. I love it how they're all tech specialists. Like, if you went... Ooh, here we go. Uh, we'll say 20 minutes, just in case. I don't see us needing all 20 minutes, but it's much safer than 10, and I'd rather be, you know, safe than sorry. Right, here we go. So once again, guys on the ground are probably going to call in some bad stuff, because they seem to do that a lot in this game. Safe points moved, which kind of sucks. But I'm, I'm comfortable that we, we've got what we need to do this. I knew there'd be random battles. It's going to be that stupid crocodile guy. Like, me metallic alligator man. Oh no, it's just a geezard thing. Little shit dude. One cool thing about Final Fantasy IX, and probably the older ones, but I can't remember which one it's on. Uh, maybe on 6, because there's a lot of thieves on 6. But on 9, there's a flea ability, where you've got a guaranteed escape. You don't have to run into, like, run on the spot like idiots. And it's really useful on that game for doing a, a level 1 playthrough, which I'm currently doing now, as I record this one. And I just killed the Black Waltz 3. 
And I, I swear to God, man, that sea lion, the sea lion on the first black waltz was just brutal. That game is so much harder than this one. Amazingly harder. I didn't even think it would be. Like, the very first real boss, the, the forest boss, the, like, the thing that steals dagger. It killed my entire team except for one person with one spell. Like, the first spell with one guy. I've seen that before. It was just like, whoa, this is, this is serious. Like, this game, I died once. And it was to the anaconda on the seed mission. Because I didn't have any junctioning on Cepha, so I couldn't heal him. And I couldn't damage race it in time, and it killed me. And, and that was on my test run. That wasn't on this recording run. That was on the one I did before. That was the only time I died on the entire game. And the game for itself was, was very simple. I killed Ultima. I got all secret GFs and stuff. I haven't killed Omega yet, but I'm probably gonna. And it was all simple. Ultimecia went down in one, one round. Like, no problems. The first boss on Final Fantasy IX... Like, killed me three times before I got it. The sea lion must have killed me ten times. Like, he's such an asshole. It felt stupid. Like, really stupid. You know when you get to that point where you're turning it off, you're like, this is stupid. This is really stupid. I need to do something else before it makes me mad. But I should be getting paid here the... The Payday 2 tomorrow, I don't know what it's called If it's got like a subtitle And then we've got Splinter Cell coming pretty soon I'm going to be finishing Metro uh, Ninja Gaiden 3 is going to be finished I might finish Portal 2 if I'm feeling lucky <laughs> And there's going to be some more Dark Souls coming I have a, a random Dark Souls video Which is pretty much all the shit off my hard drive Bulked together uh, a couple of them have got the, the build that has the double stacked fat ring, so I'm going to apologise in that video and explain what that's all about. Because a lot of people seem to think I've been modding my stats intentionally, and it's it's all just a mistake, but at the same time, it's 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 disgusting, really. It shouldn't have happened, I should have noticed, and literally the only excuse I have is I've been playing low level for so long, I, I don't know what a full life bar looks like. So I never noticed, and it's a bad excuse. I don't know if you noticed that, but this boss hurts. So, I'm going to hurt him. I absolutely hate the up and down. Up and down, left and right ones, I'm not a fan at all. Circle X is my favourite, because it's quick. You can always get it in. That one is kind of quick, it's just my D-pad is... I don't know. It's a good D-pad, it's just not as good as the PS2 one. But it's still like a million years better than the Xbox one, because the fucking Xbox one is diabolical. Like, you can't do shit on that pad without pressing 9 million different inputs. That's when the inputs register, because sometimes they don't even do that. He's gonna blow his top a bit. There we go. Come on, Irvine. Introduce him to the concept of your shotgun. Say hello to my little friend. This is a painful limit break. These these shots are pretty good, man. He's feeling that. Wish. Let's just get out of here, man. It's not worth it. We can't let them seize the MRV. Keep attacking anyway. Oh, we'll leave a dead fucker. Switch this fight a little bit faster. Can I get one off? I can indeed. There we go. I think he's done. I think it's just been revoked. That doesn't really work here. Well, I'll have what she's having. But another boss down? Oh, well, the boss is down, but the dudes aren't. So we'll finish these guys off with a quick duel. 
just pray to God that that thing didn't have a GF because I didn't even try and draw from it. So what I want here is I want to do the the down four times uh, attack because I think it hits everybody. So I have to do Mac kick to open the door. I used to do this, then I do the da up down, and then it should be available. So let's do it. One, two, three, four. Does it hit everyone? It looks like it should. Yep, it does. See you later, boys. Good fight. That worked out quite well, minus Selfie dying, because she should have had more life, but I'll get over it. 24 AP. Oh, yeah. Oh, finally, Carbuncle learns HP Junction, so now she can have more life. That's cool.